Chase Brown is sharing some of the love. The Illinois running back has certainly earned a lot of the headlines this season, and deservedly so, rushing for his ninth straight 100-yard game at Nebraska. But his twin brother, Sidney, stole some of the spotlight against the Huskers. I even put the high step in there, tried to show you some uh, Chase Brown in me, but it's just a brotherhood. You know what I mean? We support each other. We compete against each other, right? So, um, you know, he deserves all the attention he gets. Sidney's two interceptions are the most in a game for an Illini since 2019, and the last player to do it was Brown. He added a team-high six tackles and one and a half tackles for loss, paving the way for an Illini defense that forced four total turnovers. Pushing each other to be better has always been a constant for the Brown brothers, and it's something their teammates also see. You no, know, one always wants to be better than the other, so uh, I mean, it's definitely a competition between those two. I'm kind of jealous. Now I wish I had a twin because I see the way that they push themselves, and I see the way they handle their business like professionals and taking care of their body and extra work here and film and this all this stuff. Jealous. Tommy DeVito led the Illini offense, completing 20 of his 22 passes, a new program record at 90% completion percentage. After going down 13-9, Illinois scored 20 straight, holding the Huskers scoreless the final 39 minutes of the game. But I talked all week that this was not, hey, you got to buckle up, Buttercup. This is going to be a uh, tough game, going to be a road environment. I've been over here. I understand how hard it is to win here. Everybody's telling them how good they are, right? And, and uh, I think this group just really continues to show up, go to work. So the Illini are 7-1 and one for the first time since 2001 and leave Lincoln with a full game lead in the Big Ten West standings. Illinois controls its own destiny in the final month of the regular season, needing just two more wins to secure their first spot in a Big Ten championship game in Indy. Reporting for your Illini Nation in Lincoln, Nebraska, Brett Barron's WCIA 3 Sports. Thanks, Brett. Of course, 2001 was the Sugar Bowl season as well. For more on the Illini's big win, you can watch Brett Bielema's full postgame press conference on our website, WCIA.com. We also have the 3-in-1 podcast.